Okay, I'm making the long-awaited video. Everybody's asking for this one, so I might as well show you how to install the Rust Cosmic Desktop for preview and demo use as the Pop! OS team and the people at System76 are still developing it. A few words of caution. You'll want to do this on a physical machine, meaning don't bother on a VM. It probably won't work. Number two, we're going to have to enable Wayland support in order to actually use the Rust Cosmic Desktop, at least for now. And three, if you're not comfortable using the terminal yet, go watch some of my other videos, get comfortable with it because this will take some terminal commands in order to actually get things running. All right, with those out of the way, let's start up a terminal. That's the first thing we're gonna be bothering with. So there's really two paths to take. Both paths require this first one. And it's really if you have an NVIDIA graphics card versus something else, it's not NVIDIA. The first is going to be applied to all users. The second thing is going to be applied to only NVIDIA users. We're going to use our favorite text editor, whatever you want. I'm, I like Vim, so I'm going to use Vim. And I'm going to open the Etsy GDM3 custom.config or CONF file. And I don't currently have it because it's a brand new system. Install. So I am going to get Vim for myself. Install Vim. Type in my administrative password. Give me a second here and clear things out. And then again, Vim. Etsy GDM3 custom.conf. And in this file, I'm going to look for something that says Wayland enable. Currently that is set to false. And it says that we're changing a read only file, which is not a good thing. So I'm gonna exit out of this file and I need to put sudo up front in order to actually edit this file. It's a system file, therefore you need administrative privileges in order to edit the file. With sudo in front, now I can edit this file. It's not read only. I go over to Wayland enable. I'm gonna change this from false to true. I'm gonna save and exit the file, and that's really the first part. Now the second part, and this is really for NVIDIA graphics users, will follow this second part. Otherwise, you can kind of skip ahead, but don't skip too far ahead, this won't take long. For you NVIDIA users, do sudo, use your favorite text editor, I'm using Vim, in the user lib udev directory. We're gonna look at the rules, directory and there's a file called 61-gdm.rules. We're going through this file until we find really something that mentions xorg. So let's see if we can find some stuff here. Okay, this looks like the first portion that we need to edit out. In order to comment things out, you just put a hashtag in front of the line. It's both of these right here. Basically, this is to prefer xorg is starting and to disable Wayland. We want to get rid of this line here and this line here by just putting the hashtag in front, which effectively comments that line out. Now I'm gonna save and exit and we're done with NVIDIA users as well. Now NVIDIA users, you're gonna to have to restart the entire system. So make sure to do a reboot after this. For those of us not using NVIDIA graphics cards, we can simply restart the display manager, which there's a way to do that without actually restarting the entire system. Fantastic, make sure to smash that like button for me because we are about to enable Wayland and get on with that setup of the System76's Rust Cosmic Desktop by doing sudo systemctl space restart space gdm.service. This will restart the display manager service in Pop! OS. Give it a few moments and then you'll be greeted by your login screen. After you click on your user, go down to the cog and you'll notice now pop and pop on Wayland. This is fantastic. For NVIDIA users, you would have rebooted and you should see the same thing. If you don't, you have failed. Something is wrong, you're gonna have to look it up. I'm not sure what failed, but so far this is a great thing. With Wayland installed, we can actually select pop on Wayland and load in by putting our password in. Make sure that the dot is on pop on Wayland. Put your password in, let things load up. And once we're in, we're gonna go to part two of this video, which is officially installing something called the Cosmic Session. First, you'll wanna make sure you update your repo, sudo apt update, hit enter, type in your password, and that will update your repositories. That way you can get the latest and greatest packages. Fantastic. Next, you'll want to do sudo apt install, and it's called cosmic-session. This will install all the tools and packages necessary for the pre-alpha version of what's known as the Rust Cosmic Desktop. So let's hit enter and give it a few moments. It's around 239 megabytes of additional packages here in order to actually install Cosmic Session. And you'll notice all the various different packages that will get installed with this Cosmic Session. This is a great thing. Let's press enter. Why? So the install continues for Cosmic Session. It's gonna take a little bit depending on your connection speed. 
And once that's done, we're ready to reboot the system. Either reboot it, or if you want, you can reuse the special command, sudo systemctl restart gdm.service, and that should get you there as well. Once the system has been restarted, you should now see something called Cosmic. I bet you're getting excited at this point if you're seeing Cosmic. You're very close to trying out Cosmic. Select Cosmic, and then put in your password. And now you're officially in the Cosmic desktop environment. There's not much here right now. You can try out the tiling support. One thing I wanna mention is over time, Cosmic Session does get updated. So in order to update the desktop and try the latest and greatest, you want to update the Cosmic Session package. How do you do that? Launch a terminal. It's usually the super T key. And then do sudo apt install Cosmic Session again. And if it's not up to date, it will tell you and it will install the update. You'll have to restart the system, of course. And you may or may not be able to actually do this in the current Cosmic running desktop environment, you might actually have to go over to one of the others like Wayland or the Xorg to actually do it. It depends on how they handle the mounting situation of the current session. Regardless, you have successfully installed the Cosmic desktop environment based on Rust. Again, it's preliminary and in, in pre-alpha mode right now. So you can test things out as they're coming out. Remember to make those updates as necessary. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe below for more videos like this. Catch me in a great community on Discord. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.